Hey, well, welcome back. Let's go ahead and see what's happening statewide right now. We're seeing some rain uh, in, uh, in Fairbanks a little bit, 58 degrees, 52 in McGrath, some cloudy skies. Pretty much cloudy all over the state uh, as a result of that low pressure system, especially on the West Coast. It's going to get cooler here. I'll show you why in a minute. And as uh, we take a look at our high temperatures, well, I noticed 63 in Juneau, Skagway 56, but it says Wainwright 70 was the high today, which kind of surprises me because the temperatures around it aren't that warm, but that's what it says. And we're looking at 68 in Ketchikan, 62 in Fairbanks, we're at 51, 48 in Kodiak, a little on the cool side as a result of all these clouds, and it's this low pressure system, that's the culprit. Its associated front has uh, been moving through, and as it does, it'll continue to do that. You can see this front right here now pushing through, but also behind it, a lot of stratus clouds and a lot of showers and rain. Uh, with it, uh, because of the counterclockwise flow, expect to see some cooler temperatures along the West Coast, so anything that was rain will be Mixed rain and snow if it's on the border or snow if it's uh, not on the border, just below that freezing mark. So we'll see that probably through Tuesday. And then as this pushes off and dies, this counterclockwise rotation stops too. This other low comes in. This will be a southerly flow bringing in some warm temperatures. But because of the clouds, we're not going to see those 60s and 50s as we probably get into Wednesday. So uh, we are looking here to see some cloudy skies and rain and uh, on Monday, but uh, for tomorrow, I think it'll be a little bit like uh, today. And uh, look at this, we've got uh, flood watch at midnight to Tuesday a.m. for the Yukon Flats. We do have a winter weather advisory still for the Beaufort Sea area, as well as uh, uh, Central Brooks Range right out here. And of course, we still got that Copper River Basin uh, issue with the flood watch, and that's to Monday evening. It is flood season along the our rivers as a result of that snow melt coming off the mountains and then pooling in. And because it, we've got those big ice chunks uh, that cause ice jamming, uh, it's got to go somewhere in those rivers and has a tendency for that water to go around it. And that's what causes the flooding. So southeast, uh, we're looking to rain tomorrow returning. Today was not a bad day, but rain temperatures in the 50s in the interior section. We're looking at uh, still mostly cloudy skies for Fairbanks and Healy tomorrow. They've got rain today, but at Fort Yukon Delta Junction will start to see that rain tomorrow and temperatures right around 57. Uh, so as we look on the north slope, again, that winter weather advisory, some windy conditions, uh, northeast 20 to 25 for Dead Horse, northeast 20 to 25 for Utiavik, a double digits, but not much in the double digit rain, 11 and 10, and eight expected in Anatuvik Pass where they're under a winter weather advisory too. Flood watch for Bethel. Uh, we'll see some rain and snow there, 40. And 23 in Nome, Kotzebue gonna be at 18. Uh, pretty nice day tomorrow with sun and clouds, but windy conditions. 25 in St. Paul, gusts into 30 in Cold Bay. And for South Central, yep, it's coastal rain, cloudy skies, cooler temperatures in the 50s. Same thing in the Copper River Basin, 54 in Glen Allen, mostly cloudy. Up in the slope, well, I mean, I should say in the Matsu, some cloudy skies, but I think you'll see some breaks in Telkeetna, 56. And for us, looking at 52 degrees, 44 in Girdwood, under mostly cloudy skies. I'll have the seven day coming up, Joe.